Hello, this is Stan and I'm going to teach you how to write and send bulk personalized emails thanks to Google Sheets, ChatGPT and Yam. So uh, we are going to use two of our products, uh, of course GPT for Sheets, which lets you use ChatGPT directly in Google Sheets and uh, Yam or yet another mail merge, which helps you send uh, bulk emails from Google Sheets with a Gmail draft. Okay, let's go. So the first part is to write each email. Uh, and for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this prompt here that I wrote uh, that contains several instructions. Uh, write an email in creative style, uh, excited tone, to sell the recipient a shampoo, etc. Uh, then I have a list of eight recipients here. Oops, eight recipients uh, with uh, metadata. So there is first name, job title, hairstyle, and company. And we are going to use this metadata as part of the, the prompt in order to generate uh, a unique email. Okay, uh, so the way you do it is once you have installed uh, the GPT for Sheets add-on and enabled the function, the GPT functions, you get this GPT function and then you need to input the prompt. So the prompt here will be in multiple parts. Uh, because I need to add the uh, task and the metadata, uh, which will be split between headers and the actual data. So we'll do, we'll use the GPT create prompt for this to help me, uh, where I can have a prompt in several uh, different ranges. So first I put all the task, the detailed task, then I will input the headers and as the value, here, I will put the metadata of the first row. Okay, let's go. This should return uh, an email uh, written by ChatGPT in a few seconds. Okay, there we go. As the CEO of OpenAI, I'm sure you're always on the lookout for innovative and effective products. That's why I wanted to introduce you to our new shampoo line. Um, it even invented uh, a brand for uh, our hair products. So that's that sounds great. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do two things. First of all is I'll actually change the temperature to one so that it's even more creative and uh, lessens the chances that each email will look uh, too similar. And I will also fix the prompt vertically by adding dollars to the ranges so that now when I drag the formula down uh, it will only move the only the prompt will stay put the headers will stay put as well and it will take into account each uh, rows metadata for each email so let's now drag it down As you can see, I got a new email here, which is presumably a little bit more creative than the first part, the first one. Uh, okay, we got a new email for Elon, uh, one for Joe, one for each person here. And as you can see, it, it took uh, the hairstyle of each person and tailored an email uh, to it. So it's uh, I think it's a really powerful way of uh, writing bulk emails uh, that don't look too formulaic because um, each email will be different. Uh, so of course, uh, each email will only be as good as the data that you feed it. So you should really tweak, uh, don't hesitate to tweak the prompt. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Um, oops, that's maybe too much. Okay, uh, I'll just hide this for a second. Um, you, you really should uh, work on your prompt uh, so that the output, which is the emails, will be uh, as good as possible as they can be. Um, and of course, the more metadata you use and the more precise your uh, prompt is, the, the better the emails will be. Okay, so now let's uh, write subject lines. So what I'll do is I'll just say, okay, GPT, 
and then the prompt will be to write a catchy subject line uh, in let's say under uh, eight words for this email and then I will put the uh, email body as the value and then add uh, a temperature of one again and let's see what we get revolutionize your hair care with our shampoo okay now let's drag this down so I will do this with the keyboard it's a bit easier with large cells okay Okay, revolutionize your hair game with our shampoo. Get the perfect side part every time. So if you don't like some of them, you can easily uh, delete it and regenerate. Okay, so let's say that for example, I don't really like this one. Uh, so I will delete it and I will drag it down once more. And I should get a new one. Okay, upgrade your hair game Techno King. This is looking much better. So now I need to send the emails. Uh, though that's very easy to do with, with YAM. Uh, basically, YAM works with a column of recipients here. Um, and so all I need to do is click on... Okay, first of all, I need to show you the draft, sorry. So the draft in this case is going to be super simple. Uh, for those who don't know YAM, basically YAM can uh, take a Gmail draft and include data from your spreadsheets thanks to markers or tags that have the same name as column headers. So in this, in our case, the draft is extremely simple. Let me show it to you. It's this one. And as you can see, there is just one uh, subject line marker here and then one email body marker. Uh, you could, uh, if you needed to uh, be a bit uh, fancier and have multiple markers for email body in here, for example, if you need to include some links, um, it's, it might be better to uh, put the link directly here uh, and link to, I don't know, google.com. Uh, and then you could have like email intro and you could then have like uh, email email buddy something like this I don't know email email uh, email outro uh, and here you would have email buddy uh, for example if you want to be if you want to get more granular I mean you can definitely do that in our case we're, we're going to be simple and just have email buddy because it's what we have in our spreadsheets so this is the draft, and so I need to go back to my spreadsheet and launch YAM. So for this, I go to extensions, then go to YAM, start mail merge. Of course, you need to install it if you have not installed it yet. Okay, so I will tell it that the column uh, to send from is email address. So I will use this column. Okay, uh, it detected correctly that I will be sending eight emails. Uh, I activated the tracking so that I can track uh, who opened uh, the emails or clicked or if the emails bounced or if they unsubscribed. Uh, and I will just click send. So what Yam will do is send each email one by one by merging um, the data from the spreadsheet into the draft and it adds a merge status column which I will be showing you uh, right after. Okay, so it sent eight emails, great. And as you can see, I've got a new column here called merge status with each email. So we can see email sent, they were, they were all sent. Let me just hide this in order to uh, see better what's going on. So I've also got this tracking report right here uh, where I can see the status of my mail merge. So all eight emails have been delivered. And now if I go to uh, my inbox, I will see the eight emails because I used, uh, I sent them to myself. So I've closed this. Now let's say that I open, uh, so I'll open the first one, the one to Sam. If I go back to the spreadsheets, you can see it was, it now shows as open and I see it as well here. Uh, so I can also open, let's say, 
uh, this one, revitalize, and it shows us open instantly. So as you can see, Yam can track email uh, actions in real time. So that's really cool. I did not include a link in those emails, so we cannot see a clicked uh, status, but basically it would work exactly the same way. Okay, um, I, I, I hope you um, appreciate this technique. I think it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, we are probably going to uh, make it even easier for uh, YAM uh, customers to uh, draft bulk emails uh, with ChatGPT. Uh, but this gives you a good glimpse and it's already uh, a, a way for you to do it uh, with the existing products. So uh, don't hesitate to tell me what you think uh, in the comments uh, and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.